my name is Marcy Wessels and I'm from San Diego, California. Uh, so Marcy, how long have you been a member of SCBWI? I joined SCBWI in, um, let's see, the fall of 2012. So just a few short years. And you've been coming to the conference here. What do you like about the conferences? Oh my gosh, the conferences that SCBWI are, are put on are so great because you learn not only about the craft and the business of public, you know, the, the craft writing, but also the business of publishing. And I've also discovered a whole brand new group of friends. And so I understand this has worked pretty well for you? Yeah, it's great. Um, my debut picture book, uh, Pirate's Lullaby Mutiny at Bedtime, illustrated by Tim Bowers, published by Doubleday, will be out next August, um, August 25th, 2015. And I actually got my start here at um, SCBWI OC's Editor's Day event. Where did that inspiration for that story come from, the Pirate's Day story? Well, the... you know, it's hard to put, um, it's hard to say the exact spot because it's, I think it was sort of um, a mixture of several things. In March, uh, let's see, it was in May of 2012, my family and I suffered a water event in our townhouse and we ended up moving out for seven and a half weeks while they repaired our house. And uh, during that time I was taking a um, picture book class through UCSD Extension and the first assignment for the class was to write a 16-page board book. And I woke up one morning and had a line in my head. It was, yo ho ho, me lad, heave ho, it's time to go to bed. It went from there. And it was loose, it's loosely also based on my daughter. The character is a uh, male, his name is Ned, and it's Ned and Papa, try, Ned and Papa trying to get Ned to bed at night. But it's loosely based on my daughter, who was two and a half at the time, and, and a major bedtime procrastinator. So sometimes, you know, a little bit of life influences uh, us to, to put it into the art. <laughs> So getting a picture book made is, is like no problem. You just take what's in your, going on in your life and just that it, it just happens that overnight, right? Oh, I wish. Um, I really <laughs> wish it were that easy. Um, actually, that was sort of the problem that I had. It, it started with a line, and my story actually didn't have much plot. And um, I realized in the revision process that you know there's a lot more that to a picture book than than just a line or an idea. That you actually have to have a story and a story arc and some tension and some escalation in the in the narrative events. You, you, you related the personal story of, um, or, or the lessons you learned about living as a pirate. Oh yes, I, my talk today was called How I Became a Pirate and Landed a Book Deal. I attended Editor's Day here in the OC and I submitted my manuscript to uh, one of the editors who attended the conference. And um, she provided me a personal feedback letter. Um, it was a rejection, but it had a substantial amount of feedback. And ironically at the time, I um, had come down with a case of Bell's Palsy right before Halloween. So I've, for people who don't know, Bell's Palsy is paralysis of your facial nerve. Um, my eye couldn't close all the way and my, I had a lopsided grin. I couldn't eat or drink very well or talk very well either. And um, I received the, letter, the feedback letter from my editor uh, when I had Bell's Palsy. So surprisingly, she, um, she told me to make the story more piratey and to explore pirate language um, in a much more full, in a, full more, in a fuller way and I was very well prepared to do so because uh, I looked and acted like a pirate then um, protecting my eye with the patch you know from the Bell's palsy but as you can see a full and complete recovery. <laughs> and when, when does the book come out? The book will be out um, August 25th 2015. Okay thank you very much. All right thank, thank you. <laughs>